almost 12 years as a mom. And I've never had lice in this house until now. We're gonna... uh, my head is actually kind of feeling a little bit itchy. Neither should I. If we can divert the flow away from the castle towards the lake, there's one right there. <laughs> if you want to follow along on this life's journey with us, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hey guys, bring on the Browns is back. You got yogurt on your face. Hey, I didn't know if you guys ever knew this, but I have always wanted to be a cheerleader, okay? And I'm gonna teach you the cheer that I would do right now if I were a cheerleader. Are you ready? Okay, join with me now. Give me an L. L, give me an I. I, give me a C. C, give me an E. E, what does that spell? Nice. Get those lice out of here. We don't want them in our hair. Woo! She's not feeling good, can you tell? Yeah. 10 years, what, 11? No. Almost 12 years as a mom. I've never had lice in this house until now. So, one of my kids has been itching her head a little bit lately, the last couple days, and it finally dawned on me, hmm, maybe I should look for lice. So I looked this morning, I didn't see any, but I decided to look a little bit closer after school today. I pulled out my handy dandy flashlight on my phone, and I look, and lo and behold, right there on her scalp, was a louse. That's singular. And uh, yeah. I decided to end my journey right there and call a professional. So this is my first time experiencing this and hopefully my last. So I'm going to let someone else do it. And we'll see how it goes. And the super fun thing is that I often lay right next to my kids' heads at nighttime. Because they're often like, hey mom, come lay down next to me. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. So let's see what's in my hair. Hello. And now we're going to the live shop now to get the lights out of Rebecca's hair. And to have our hair checked too. Huh? You oldest three and me we're gonna get our hair checked make sure that there is nothing in there that shouldn't be in there so we're gonna uh, my head is actually kind of feeling a little bit itchy is yours feeling itchy josiah no is yours feeling itchy evelyn no okay i guess it's just me you know you might feel that like out of like um you might just be feeling that because you don't want because i'm paranoid it. yeah <laughs> So you can take a seat on there. Ooh. You're lucky you're dead. You're looking good. <laughs> then the lights can jump out. <laughs> no, I think this is going to help kill them. Yeah. At least the bugs, right? Mm -hmm. So you just get to relax for a while, huh? Okay. There. I know this turkey's kind of cool. I bet you. I, I did a quick look in her and I didn't see any eggs, at least. But these two girls sleep in the same bed. Mm -hmm. So. Well, no. strange things happen sometimes, and sometimes there's people who only have, like, they've only had it for like two days. Uh huh. And they passed it on to somebody else. And then sometimes there's people who have, like, a whole party going on up there, yeah. but nobody else has it. Yeah.
thoughts on the head that they tend to yeah cluster? so usually it's going to be at the nape of the neck right behind or above the ears yeah. and then right at the crown of the head okay. but they have specific temperatures that the nits or the eggs need to incubate in okay so if someone has really really thick hair you might see it more closer more visible just because okay. it it's not quite as hot right. um, finer hair sometimes it'll be like a little bit deeper down in there but you look great i just got one tangled one Pulled tangle out of there too Woo you're free yeah that's good news all right buddy does she have any no no What's your name? Josiah. Josiah. <laughs> That's also the good thing with like boys and men is because usually they're getting their hair cut with clippers. Yeah. They're right up in there and they can see the yeah. scalp. So usually, unfortunately, when people notice that they have it and it's a boy, it's at is the hairdresser. Yeah. Getting their hair cut. Is that the hair? Oh. This is pretty easy. There's no tangles to look through. This would be like a fraction of the time for Evelyn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so the main thing, if you're ever trying to distinguish between, is it dry scalp or even just fuzz or mm -hmm. random stuff in the hair? Uh -huh. Cause kids get all sorts of weird miscellaneous objects in their hair yeah. sometimes. Uh, number one is if it moves, like uh -huh. a bug actually moving. Uh -huh. That's your first oh, yes. giveaway. Yes, that's what I saw that on her scalp. I was like, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Or if you're looking for knits and it just brushes off the hair, mm -hmm. that's no problem. That's usually just scalp. Okay. Um, if it is a knit on the hair, usually you have to like grab the piece of hair and force it down with your fingertip. Okay. Yeah. Or you can feel it on there. It feels kind of like a little speed bump on the hair. Mm -hmm. Go and look all the way down for me for just a minute. And then, of course, the knits are eggs, so they're always going to look the same shape, same size. Okay. And dry scalp and dandruff and other stuff, it comes in a jigsaw okay. of different sizes and shapes. Okay. I'm all itchy. Yeah. <laughs> Just what you think out. Mommy. Mm -hmm. It's too bad that you have lies. Yep, mommy has it too. <laughs> Gross, huh? Yeah. I don't have it. I know you don't. So I wouldn't recommend putting that on your head. Oh, here, so yeah, I'll show it to you after. You know There's one right there. Ah. So oh. how old is, how long do you think that one's been on there then? Oh, that looks pretty old. Maybe two weeks. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. A little baby one. Mm -hmm. Jeez. see it. There's a little, There's a little baby one. And there's so Rebecca's having lights on there. Wow. That's an adult one? Not. Oh, wait, that one was a baby. Yeah. Mm, that's probably a horrible example. But that one, it looks like a little black dot with mm -hmm. sort of a clearish thing on the top mm -hmm. compared to this one. Nope, that's another empty one. But the, you can usually tell 
uh, the ones that have something kind of clearish on the top, those uh -huh. ones are ones that have already hatched. Okay. So it's literally just an eggshell left behind. Yeah. And they're harmless. They come out on their own. Okay, this guy's starting to bother me. <laughs> um, <laughs> they come out on their own, but we usually pull them out as we see them because it gives people a bit of a heart attack whenever yeah. Yeah. they see them. But yeah. most of the times, if the knit still has a little baby one inside and has potential to hatch, it's going to be dark brown, charcoalish. Okay. Just darker in color. You'll never walk away from something like this. Neither should I. If we can divert the glow away from the castle, towards the castle. How is it, Rebecca? Yeah, good. Okay. All done. Now it's mommy's turn, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we are done. It took like two and a half hours for her to um, come through mine and Rebecca's hair. So we had 50% representation of lice. Of lice. <laughs> so Ev Miss Evelyn and Mr. Josiah, they were clear. Um, guys, I, the I mom had only like 10 and Rebecca had like 30. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate, but I, we can tell that Rebecca got it first, and then I got it from her, so I don't know who she got it from, but it looks like it was like a couple weeks ago, so yeah, hopefully that is the end. I'm going to be checking Abigail tomorrow morning when she wakes up, and we'll see, see how she's doing, but we're all enjoying a little bit of Chick-fil-A right now. We got some shakes. I got some chicken tortilla soup. Now we're going to Target. We're going to run to Target real fast to look for a pancake squishy. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there's not much else to do at 9 o'clock at night other than look for a pancake squishy at Target. And get right? pickled Emily? carrots. Right, Evelyn? And get pickled carrots. And he wants pickled carrots. Anybody else eat pickled carrots? Mm -hmm. He does. He loves them. Mama, okay. I love them too. And she does too. They are pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. Bring on the browns, out.